Arabic subtlety. So today we're going to learn about the word Bismi. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. He spells it with the word Ba, Seem, and Meem. There's an alif somewhere, but it's hidden in the word. Now in Surah Al-Iqra, in the 96th chapter, which is the first revelation of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Iqra Bismi Rabbika Ladhi Khalaq. Iqra, read or repeat. Bismi Rabbika Ladhi Khalaq. With the name or in the name of your Lord who created. Now here, the word Bismi is spelled with a pronounced alif. Ba, alif, it's very apparent. Seen, and then the meme. Now why is it so? Why is it when in Surah Al-Fatiha, the word Bismi is spelled without the alif or the alif is hidden? But in Surah Al-Iqra, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spells the word Bismi with the alif shown. Here's the secret. Now when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, He wants us to connect to Him immediately. So Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, whenever we do any action, whenever, like, when we're eating, when we're cycling, when we're walking, when we're riding, so on and so forth, we say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah wants us to connect to Him immediately. Connect that action to Him immediately. So that's why the word is compacted. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Iqra, He says, Iqra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq. Read in the name of your Lord who created. To ponder over creation takes time. Right? One needs to think about creation, to think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that time delay is shown in the word Bismi itself. The word is separated. The word is not compact to, to denote or to show that you need time to think about creation. That's the difference between Bismi and Bismi in two different chapters. SubhanAllah.